All right, it's windy out, but we're gonna make a video anyway. Today, we are gonna change this piece of junk right here that has been a piece of junk since I bought this trailer four years ago. It's a 16 foot dump trailer, 14X at, or LX, uh, 16 foot long, 14,000 GBW. Okay, it's a big text trailer. Uh, we ended up, or I bought this trailer, like I said, four years ago, and uh, have hated this jack since day one. It's a, it, it hurts my shoulders, it pisses me off every time I use it. Today we're gonna do away with it and upgrade this jack. Um, right here I've got the box of what I ordered. We'll get this opened up, show you what we ended up getting, and uh, we'll get this thing installed. Should be pretty easy. All right, so this is what came with it. You got your selector valve here, three bolts for the jack to bolt the jack up, which I'm not gonna use. I'm actually gonna use the, the bolts that are on the jack previously, the ones that are already on here. You have four 90 degree fittings, four straight fittings, four hoses, and here's the jack. This is a Stillwell jack, hydraulic jack. This is basically the tradesman edition jack that comes on your Big Tex trailer from the factory. I'll give you a little story. When I bought the trailer, the trailer was, uh, uh, for them to install it on this trailer, it was $1,100 for me to just buy the kit, and then I would have to pay for them to install it. I thought, well, that's too much, I'll get on eBay. Now keep in mind, this is four years ago. Get on eBay, I hunt for this jack that I just bought, and uh, it was, 850 bucks, I believe, four years ago. Um, my brother asked me what I would have done different when he was in the market for this same exact trailer. I told him whatever he does, make sure he gets the hydraulic jack. He was able to find a trailer with a hydraulic jack and it cost him $35 more than what I paid for this trailer. And he bought his, I think, four months after I bought mine. Maybe six months, but anyway. Used his trailer once. He needed me to run a load of scrap in for him, so I used his trailer once here recently, and uh, I really like the jack. I've been fighting this jack. <laughs> Telling you, I don't like it. It's a pain in the ass. Um, jumped on eBay right away. Once I got back with his trailer, uh, I found the exact same thing. Like I said, this is a Stillwell jack. Uh, the whole kit for this trailer. Um, this is for any, you know, trailer with a pump you know light enough 14k or less it's a 7,000 pound jack uh this will work so what i ended up doing is i got on ebay and i found this kit for 346 dollars and some change out the door delivered to my house okay that was shipping everything so i didn't think twice went ahead and bought it that day within a half an hour of me returning with his trailer and now we are going to put it on. But this is what it come with. Come with the selector valve, like I said, the fittings, the hoses. The only thing that it didn't come with was one of these hoses should be shorter. But I think we can make it work the way it is. Um, this is pretty well simple on putting together. Uh, with this uh, trailer being a big tax, it actually already come with the bracket here to bolt up the, uh, the selector valve body. So we can go ahead and do that, get it bolted up and start putting our fittings on and our hoses on and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, birds have been met, making nests in here and all that good, happy crap. And they've been getting in this front hole. So after these hoses are on there, they won't be able to do that. But uh, um, yeah, we'll get to it. Make this uh, video short and sweet. And I know I'll be happy once it's installed and working. So let's make it happen. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your selector valve, which is this. you got to get a couple uh, 3 8 bolts to go through the selector valve because it did not come with the kit. Uh, I don't believe any of the kits come with the bolts for that, but you will have to get some 3 8 bolts long enough to go through the bracket, through the selector valve, and be able to nut and everything on the back, nut and bolt it together. So that's what we're doing now. We'll get it put on and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now that those are on, you need a pick. 
take you a pick and weasel out all of these. Well, they might turn. You want to get all these blue caps out. Well, these are blue anyway. You want to get all these caps out of each uh, fitting compartment. Get those removed. You want to be careful not to damage the threads that are inside the uh, selector valve here. That's where all your pressure is. That's where all your hydraulic fluid and all that stuff is. And there's six of them. There's two on each side. Two here, two here, and two on this side. And they'll all get used. Anyway, we got these all off. Now we'll go ahead and get the fittings installed. All right, so on these fittings, these are the 90s. You're gonna put 90s on each side here, here and here, top and bottom, okay? The side with the O-ring showing is what you pull the cap off of for right now, and that's what screws into the ports. So, screw that one in. And I think I'm gonna have to loosen this up anyway. Yep, all right. Well, let's rephrase that. All right, so we're gonna take this loose because these are actually hitting the bracket. So we'll take those loose a little bit. We'll take it all the way off, just a little bit loose. back to it. Got O-ring. That's what goes toward the valve. Okay. The next one, same way. O-ring toward the valve. Okay, same way on the front. That's where the two straight ones go. I'm actually going to leave this loose for now. All right, so now we're taking off the extension line, what raises the bed up, which is on the back side of the pump here. It's this line. We're going to remove it from here, and we're going to put it to the top of the valve body closest to the pump. Then we're going to remove the extraction hose, which is here, and put it from the pump. We're going to put it on the back side of the valve body. All right. So let's get that done. We'll move on to the next step, but we're going to remove the extension one first. All right, we'll get those tightened up here.
Okay. All right. Next, you need one of these hoses that comes in the kit. You're going to go from the outside part here, which is the dump part of the trailer bed on the pump. And you're going to go to this part right here, center point, down low, out front of the valve. That's where this hose is going to be. Now, I recommend getting another hose made shorter uh, to go this short distance. I'm going to try to use their larger hose that they sent with the kit. Hopefully it works. Uh, if not, we'll just have to figure something out. So let's try. Okay, that's what I did with their hose. Those are larger. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll see how that holds up. Now, I uh, might not have to. We'll see. The next hose we're going to put up to the top, and that goes to your extension point out of the hydraulics on your bed. Or on your pump, I mean. All right, next, we are going to remove this jack and throw it in the dumpster, because that's where it needs to go. Scrapyard, where I can get a little reimbursement by it. So this has got a drop leg on it. You do have to drop that out. Uh, it probably won't come out all the way. Now we're gonna take three bolts off right here and uh, pull that jack off of there. See if my drill will do it. Nope. There's that piece. And there's the drop leg. This is the new jack, and before this can go down, you have to remove a pin. You don't have to remove them both. Just one. Pull the pin out the other way. That way the foot comes off. Put the foot aside. There's a little notch back here on the back side, and that's where. Um, let's set this pin down. That notch is where this line right here goes. Okay, that slides down in there. And that's what that's not notched out for. So we will set this down in there, just like show. Line that back up where she needs to be. Everything we can go ahead and bolt that back on. All right, try it again. Got rid of those clips. We'll just use the bolts that come with the kit. Set that down in there. Make sure your wiring's out of the way. Drop your bolts down in. Like that. That's much better. Get all those put in.
Okay, this is where you really got to tongue or hold your tongue right and feel. Because you really don't have a whole lot of room. Now that that's on, I suggest you go ahead and put your jack back on. That way you don't get excited and go running your jack. And the foot's not on. And you run your jack down in the mud. Alright. Now that we got that on. I like the height of the jack. Okay, right here at the back of the jack, where the lines are gonna go through, there's two plugs. You gotta pull those plugs out. On this system, uh, for this particular one, that I ended up with is a quarter inch uh, hex head. You wanna take both plugs out. You'll lose a little bit of hydraulic fluid. That was in, in the jack. And then, again, you take these straight ones, O-ring side, goes in the fitting, like that. Okay? And this will use the last two fittings that came in the kit. Um, Actually, I'm going to leave the top one out. That way I can go ahead and put this hose on. It'll be easier to do. So this bottom port here goes to the bottom side of your selector valve. We'll go ahead and get that screwed on the selector valve there. like that and we're almost done we got to snap all that stuff up in there Okay, all right, now we'll do a moment of truth. See how this goes. So the selector valve's pushed down. The selector jack, or with the selector pushed down, that's for the jack. This is absolutely the first time I ran it. So we're getting all the air out of it and I'll have to add hydraulic fluid to the pump. This is a two foot stroke on the jack. I mean, you just saw it, it picked up a truck. All right, now we'll pull the selector up and that should allow me to raise the bed. Up. I can leave the bed up. 
Push the selector valve down. Run the jack down. And raise the trailer up. Stop there. Pick up. Run the bed up. Run the bed down. Very happy. All right, pretty simple install on this. Uh, it didn't come with any instructions. I didn't necessarily watch any videos. I pretty much know how hydraulics work and stuff. Uh, enough to get me in trouble, I guess, per se. But, um, you know, pretty simple to me on installing it. This was well worth the money. I can't, I can't say it enough. It was well worth the money. $346, just under 350 bucks off eBay. Uh, still well jacks tradesman edition um, 7,000 pounds is what it's rated for the it, the only downside that I saw on it is it did not come with any instructions uh, on how it needs to be put together I'm sure that there's videos like this out on uh, um, YouTube to do the installation uh, unfortunately you know I didn't watch any of them it was just pretty much I know how hydraulics work and you know what needs to go where and stuff like that and just kind of made it happen um, to me it's a win-win for me my shoulders gonna feel better I'll unhook the truck uh, from the trailer uh, whenever I go to town now and come right back home and hook it up if need to be if it's already hooked up where that was the big thing on me I guess you could say I was lazy whatever but I would leave the truck hooked up or the trailer hooked up to the truck just so I didn't have to mess with that twist jack um, because it, it did, it hurt my shoulders. The way it was designed, the way it works, it really hurt my shoulders and, uh, you know, you can call me whatever you want, I don't care, but I ain't gotta hurt my shoulders no more. I just push a button, trailer goes up or goes down. Very nice. So anyway, well worth the money. Off of eBay, still well jacks, um, under 350 bucks. Great upgrade for the uh, Big Tex trailer if you haven't already done it or didn't buy it with it. So until next time, guys, I will be using this trailer tomorrow. Uh, hopefully you guys could be along. If I make a video of it, I'm really hoping to. So, um, you know, we'll be using that and uh, get another job done. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.